Okay, guys, so we are at week 14, and yeah, both these teams, you know, they go at it with losing records. One, less expected than the other, I'd say. Um, but yeah, this is my preview, guys, between the Cincinnati Bengals and the Dallas Cowboys from the state of Texas in Arlington. We play against America's team. Or as other NFL fans would like to call it, America's second option. I'm not one of them. I got nothing against the Cowboys, but I know a lot of general football fans do. But anyway, let's dive into this matchup, man. I, it's, um, I really don't know how this is going to go. I mean, I'm not going to sound as like ranty or like fiery as like, you know, other weeks. Because it's like, at this point, just win for pride, you know. I'm not one of those guys that want to tank. You know, we've been through enough losing. I think we got to win some games just to keep the moral high and just, um, you know, boost the team's, I don't know, just the overall morale. But, yeah, let's dive into this matchup. I'll take you through a look at us, and we'll go from there. So let's take a look at the Bengals. So Jamar Chase, he's leading the NFL with over, with 100 or 1,142 receiving yards. The Bengals have scored a total of almost 100 points, 99 to be exact, in their last three games. And they have lost all of them. They averaged 33 points in the last three games, and they've lost all of them. Isn't that crazy? I mean, like, don't get me wrong. I'm not surprised because our defense is putrid. Putrid. But... Don't you kind of want to see a little bit of, like, just a fight? Uh, I don't even know how to explain it, but just, like, some sort of fight on defense to at least back up your offense a little bit. You did it two years ago. You did it three years ago. But, like, in the season that both these dudes are playing at their absolute best, Joe Burrow and Jamar Chase, we're doing this. I mean, the defense has to step up here. I, there's no other way to put it. And then you look at Joe Burrow. Dude is... He's our guy, man. He is a freaking amazing quarterback. Um, and he's just playing lights out. Jamar Chase, like I said, he's dominating in the passing game. He's just, you know, just catching, like, just amazing, amazing balls. You know, he's, I don't even know how to say it. He's just our world. Um, but, you know, predictably, I guess not predictably on the defense, because I thought it would be, I didn't think it would be great. I didn't think it would be horrific like this, but... The coaching has been letting these two down. So it's it's kind of a shame, you know. The, these two seasons are going wasted. And, um, yeah, it's just a shame, you know, the position that we're in. Because I, I seriously think if we have an average defense, we'd be in the playoffs. No doubt. No doubt in my mind. Or if McPherson could hit some kicks. And speaking of McPherson, that dude is on IR now. I believe he's has a groin injury, so they openly signed Cade York, who's somehow an even worse kicker, I would say. But that's not the year nor there, you know. You know, J Joe and, J and Jamar are doing what they can for the Bengals. Uh, but unfortunately, it just hasn't come to fruition because of our stupid defense. But, you know, I've seen these two. They step up when the bright, the light, the light shine. Um, you know, here's no different. You know, America's team, Monday Night Football. I mean... When these two were hitting on all cylinders in 2022, you know, you saw where we went. We went to the AFC Championship. And, you know, in that game, Burrow wasn't at his absolute best, but he was still solid enough to get win. But anyway, back to this game. It's, it's like this is just like a game you got to take advantage of on defense. I mean, our defense can make Cooper Rush look good because they did it two years ago. Um, so I don't know how these are going to do. Our defense is significantly worse than it was two years ago. But, you know, it is a shame. Uh, but it is what it is. You know, you got to sometimes just take the good with the bad. And, you know, let's look at the Cowboys. Um, you know, Micah Parsons has three and a half sacks in the last two games since he returned. I believe he returned in that game against Washington. But, you know, C.D. Lamb is also a dangerous target. I mean, their offense is not great, yes, but, you know, they're still a dangerous target. And this is a game that they can really get going. But you look at their defense, which is something that our offense can capitalize on. They have allowed the third most rushing touchdowns in the entire NFL. So, there's no surprise what the Bengals should do here. You know, they should get Chase Brown going, if anything. Uh, you know, Chase Brown, he averaged seven yards a carry last week against the Steelers. 
So if there's a game that he can really turn it up, it's this one. Um, so, you know, that's just kind of what we need to do. You know, you feed Chase Brown the rock. You feed, you know, uh, pretty much all the, you know, the targets on offense. That's like how you just get going against a very suspect Cowboys defense. But, you know, they're the home team. They're playing with a little bit of pride. Two straight wins against two division rivals. There's no reason for them to be not feeling good, you know, about this game. Especially the Bengals have not beaten the Cowboys since 19... I don't know, in Dallas, they haven't beaten the Cowboys, I believe, since 1988. That's just, that's crazy. And I think that was the year that the Bengals went to the, yeah, they went to the Super Bowl that year. So, yeah, I mean, that's just kind of where we're at. Um, not not looking great, but, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll just see where it goes from there. But to be honest with you, man... The keys to winning, if I'm being honest, like, I, I'll just keep it short here. I mean, you limit Micah Parsons, you know, Orlando Brown, he seems hurt, so I don't know what his status on this game is going to be, but the offensive line has to, you know, step up. You know, that interior line has to step up. Alex Kappa has to step up. Cordo Wilson has to step up. You know, Ted Karras is playing, like, I think the second or third highest graded center in the league. Orlando Brown's having a good year outside of the injury. Marius Booms has been fantastic. The majority of that offensive line is actually very good on talent. And Kappa just hasn't been the same since his injury a couple years ago. So you limit Micah Parsons somehow, some way. You got to have a plan for him, not like you did T.J. Watt last week. But you capitalize on that weak Cowboys offense as well. You know the defense is sure it's going to let the Cowboys get theirs. That's just how bad this defense is. But they're ranked twenty seventh in success rate. No reason for that defense to not have some sort of step up here. But you you got to utilize Jamar Chase. You got to obviously you utilize Joe Burrow. You just continue to just break the Cowboys secondary, and that's all you, you can really hope for at this point. But as I said before, the main key, you feed Chase Brown. You know, this dude, he got it going last week. He averaged seven yards of carry. He had a couple touchdowns, I believe. So you just got to feed him. That's all you can do. That's your keys to winning for the Bengals. Um... At this point, you know, I don't know what they're playing for because I really don't see this team going to the playoffs, but they'll keep their... They don't have a chance to get eliminated this week, but they'll keep their very smidge hopes alive, I guess, this week if they win. But honestly, my final thoughts, you know, I, I'm not going to talk about Zach or Lou in this one. I've said my piece on them. I feel like I'll leave it at that. But my final thoughts, guys, I don't think we make the playoffs. So at least win this with pride. Take advantage of the Cowboys' struggles. It's a chance for us to gain some momentum heading into Tennessee. You know, I believe our next three games, if I'm not mistaken, it's Cowboys, Titans, Browns. You can get back to 500. You really can. Do I think we will? I do not. Simply because this team just never figures it out. If there's three games that you think they're going to win, they'll drop at least two of them. And I'm hoping this game they don't drop. Next week, obviously, I hope we don't drop. But you never know. You don't. So I've said my piece on them. But my, my, my final two cents, take advantage of the Cowboys' struggles. Just regain some momentum heading into Tennessee. Make us fans feel good after three heart-crushing losses. All you can do is just make us feel good, man. Because we don't right now. And if you want to have some sort of I guess positive on the timeline or, or you know, what whatever. You got to win. But I'm also hoping that if we do win, it doesn't change the way they're going to go about this offseason because they got to fix up that defense. They got to they gotta get rid of some coaches. They got to figure it out. It's not an offseason to waste. But anyway, I've said my piece. You guys have a great one. Go Bengals, as always, and let's go to Big D. Let's get a win in Dallas, Texas. You guys have a great one.